Uh, greetings. Here we have a little variation on the 22 game, which appears in a few of my other videos. This time, instead of choosing a three-digit number, I chose a four-digit number with all different digits. And the rules work the same as for the 22 game, where the result is always 22. So uh, those videos should give you a little more background on what this is all about with all these numbers and operations. Anyhow, add the digits. 1, 2, 3, 4. Sum is 10. We'll save that 10. I put it down here on my whiteboard. So that was the first step. The next step is add all the possible three-digit numbers you can make from those four digits. And it's a good exercise in learning about combinations and permutations as you try to uh, figure out all the different arrangements of those four digits. And I believe I did so correctly here. I found 24 different numbers altogether, each with three digits. So it's a little workout for a calculator or your pen or computer to add them all up and make sure there aren't any missed or incorrect keystrokes or you'll get the wrong sum. So after I, uh, I just took the digits and just placed the numbers in groups of six in ascending order, one, two, three, the lowest, and three, two, one, the greatest in that group of six just to keep track of them all, make sure I didn't leave any out or uh, duplicate any. So when I finally added up all those 24 numbers, I do it on the calculator or in my head and get my pen. You know, kind of walk in front of the whiteboard. I finally get this correct sum, 6,660. Phew! So I'm going to take that 6,616 and place it down here for the last step. Divide by 10, that digit sum of that original 1,234. Easy to divide by 10, have a number ending in a zero. I'm going to drop that last zero. Final answer, 666. So, and if you uh, think that algebra and arithmetic are the invention of the devil, for those of you into the numerology of the 603 score and 6 from ancient times, there is a 666 to prove it. Aha! Uh -huh. A devilish arithmetic. Thanks for watching.